where I believe every interaction I have, every action I make and every word I say is as if I'm standing on stage in front of an audience and becoming who I truly am through every interaction I make. And I've been chilling, watching the ocean. Hey mum, so we've been learning about this theorist in sociology, his name's Goffman, and he really just made me realise that like we use his theory in our everyday lives. So pretty much what he did was he talked about the creation of human personality through its interaction with its environment. He believed that interaction should be studied in itself and that people in everyday life are staging themselves and their interactions as if they were performances in a theatre. That's what I do. What's wrong, Lalita? I don't know. I just don't feel like going outside and putting on this face that I'm always putting onto the public. I, I just don't, I honestly just don't have the energy for that today. You don't feel happy, but you don't want anyone to know about it. Yeah, I'm just tired and I'm always putting on this face where I'm, you know, happy and Lolita, I guess. Like, I'll show you what I mean. So, okay, so pretty much you'll get two sides of my acting. So first you get the front side, the front stage. And that's pretty much where everything I do is intentional and purposeful and I rehearse the whole front side of me back at home. And then we get my habitual and I guess you could say subconscious side of me where I do things just out of habit, really just without thinking about doing something. God, I can't be bothered to go to work. Oh my God, it's 10 o'clock. I should probably get ready for work. Here we can see Lolita applying the concept of face work. By getting ready to go to work, by putting on the right attire and looking professional, she is avoiding any sort of misleading perceptions of the face she is about to put on. Hi, welcome to Goldmark. How can I help you today? Hi, my name's Lolita. Welcome to Goldmark. Did you need a handle today? Hi, my name's Lolita. Welcome to See Lolita applying the concept of face as she is putting her professional and work mask on. This face mirrors the way in which she wants to be perceived by others, such as customers and her colleagues in this surrounding space. Lolita proposes a professional face and hopes that people believe in this face. Yeah, so all of my friends actually have necklaces like this. They're very, very trendy these days. Here we can see Lolita applying the concept of role distancing. She is modifying her performance by distancing herself slightly from her expected role. By mentioning her friends, it's as if she is distancing herself from the role she is required to play by expressing and reminding the customer that she is not only a sales assistant but also a friend. So over here we have the um, we have the gold chains. We can see Lolita applying the concept of embarrassment. Embarrassment is a universal possibility in every encounter. Claiming your face can be difficult because in order to live up to it, you must show people that they can believe in your face. So in this case, it is Lolita's job as a sales assistant. However, during interactions, problems can pop up, and in this case, Lolita was a bit clumsy and in turn became embarrassed. Lolita used one of four techniques to react to embarrassment. This was the act of concealing her behavior, of bumping the mirror off the table. She kept talking to the customer as if nothing had happened. What are you doing? Just doing some research on jewellery and I guess you could say broadening my knowledge. In the backstage, the moment that I come home or I go on my lunch break at work, I am free of any expectations or any norms that dictate my front stage acting.